So, let me show you guys what I did here today. Um, Doug was going to come over and, and uh, help me do some stuff, so he was, he was going to help me film some things. And uh, I guess he, um, he got held up or whatever, so instead of filming me in the process of doing this, what ended up happening is I just did it. So, I installed the fuel cell. I had to remove the, um, there it is over there, the spare tire support. Had to do the old uh, sawzall like we did with the other stuff, cut the rivets off and then pry it off. Um, I drilled two holes here and here to drop down these threaded, you know, threaded bars to support the back end. And then I took angle iron and basically cut small pieces to angle in the front forward like that to support it and to hold the front of the uh, tank here. And then I just kind of zip tied. There was a support here that had the uh, brake line that was in my way. It was almost, it was so close, but it was still in my way. So I just cut it off and then supported it here to that. But tank's in. And now I can go ahead and start working on my, uh, my fuel pump, standalone fuel pump and um, the electronic fuel pump controller, which I need to wire up. And then we can fill this sucker up, wire up, it's got its own sender in it. Wire that up so we can actually get some accurate fuel, uh, fuel readings. And we should be good to go. Alrighty.